What's poppin' YouTube family? It's your boy Bricks, and I'm back in here live and direct with some more hip hop news. First and foremost, man, rest in peace to JD Youngin. He was killed last night. His father survived, he's stable, but they both were shot. And unfortunately, JD Youngin lost his life. Rest in peace to that brother. I don't care what anybody does, nobody is perfect. A lot of times we make decisions and there's no coming back from it, but it doesn't mean that you're the worst person in the world and you can't repent and you can't better yourself. And sometimes it's too late before we can open our eyes and make a real life-changing decision, a positive decision. But rest in peace to that brother. It hasn't even been 24 hours yet and somebody is already dissing him. And it's a Jacksonville, Florida artist by the name of Julio Fulio. Jaden Youngin was good friends with an artist from Jacksonville, Florida by the name of Youngin Ace. And as y'all know, Youngin Ace and Julio Fulio, they've been having real beef going on for years. People have lost their lives. There's been shootings on both sides. Even Youngin Ace was shot. He was shot up in the car with some of his friends and they lost their lives. And Julio Fulio was dissing him when that happened. Jaden Youngin hasn't been gone for 24 hours. And Julio Fulio already made a post and he's dissing him. And he says, dude used to diss me just to be cool with the ops. Even got them boys name tatted. Now look, and he puts the laughing emoji. He's proud that JD Youngin is dead. He's making fun of him. He's basically saying he didn't even have beef with JD Youngin, but JD Youngin wanted to be cool with some guys that he had beef with. So he's siding with them like he had a problem with Julio Fulio. And now Fulio saying, now look at you, you dead. This ain't right, man. And I want to tap into something real quick. I want to give props to Gucci Mane. If y'all haven't checked his new song and video out, check it out. It's called This in the Dead. And Gucci Mane feels that he's responsible for these guys dissing each other after someone is deceased that they had beef with. As y'all know, back years ago, Gucci Mane and Jeezy had a beef. Some guys ran in a home that Gucci Mane was in with a female. Gucci Mane defended himself and he took someone's life. Afterwards, he got out of prison after he beat the murder charge for self-defense. And he made a diss song back at Young Jeezy called The Truth. And there's a famous line in there where he says, go dig your partner up. I bet he can't say ish. And that was a diss back at Jeezy for supposedly being on the side with those guys that had a problem with Gucci Mane. Moving forward, Gucci Mane and Jeezy had a versus. Gucci Mane yells out, we smoking on Pookie Loke tonight. Well, Pookie Loke was the guy that Gucci Mane took the life from when they came in that house and was after Gucci Mane to take his life. Gucci Mane also mentioned that he got artists on his label that's in prison. He wished those guys was free. Pooh Shiesty, some major artist from Memphis, Tennessee, took over the game. He's locked up right now. Got another artist out of Atlanta by the name of Fu, Fujiano, and he was major. He's locked up right now as well. And Gucci's just not proud, man. He, he, he been through a lot. He took a life. There's people that came after his life. He did time in prison. He's a major artist, he's married now. He, he's grown a whole lot. And I got a side with Gucci Mane on this. Gucci Mane even lost good friends like Young Dolph. He was cool with trouble. And these guys was taken by gun violence. So you gotta look at the whole picture like, at the end of the day, is it really worth it? You young guys, if you come across this, I hope that you're listening right now and take game from a real low G. The energy that you put into this world, into this universe, it will come back to you. And God is real. Allah is real. Whatever God that you pray to, if you believe in God, he's real. This right here is not cool, man. I'm not siding with nobody. But y'all brothers got to get it together, man. You're successful. You take care of your mom, take care of your kids, take care of your family. 
Get them out the hood. Change the way of thinking. You don't have to kill each other to be cool to get a big name. Make it cool to take care of your family. Build businesses. Generational wealth. Give back. Real estate. Education. Help these kids stay out the streets. Help these kids stay out of prison systems. Come on, man. I mean, do y'all not have OGs? Is this what you're doing? A brother get killed and you laugh at him for getting killed? It's in the middle of 2022, and we've lost a lot of rappers already to gun violence. By the end of 2022, the beginning of 2023, there's going to be more dead rappers because they're not trying to make this change. Y'all get in the comments, man. Subscribe to the channel. Be sure you hit the like button. The more likes I get, the more this news get out there, man. I'm not just a reporter. I come from that life too, but I made a change. You did? I made a change. Rest in peace to all the fallen soldiers, man, who was in the field that didn't get to make it out, that didn't get a chance to make that change. If you got a chance today, make that change, man. There's real fruitful advice coming from the OG Bricks. Get with me. Gang. Pussy boy, make it r &B. Nike slip, we got that new location. Texas way beat. Shooting buckets. Niggas really ducking. Playing high and seat. Oh, bro. Jada Youngin, you a fucking bitch. Two, three, let him go, yeah. Fuck six, you been a bitch. You bang that two, three. I could have fucked your Wait, hold up, hold up. Gas back wood on my roll up. Dreads ain't that on my shoulder. If a nigga trip, we gon' smoke on.